Savon, why is this girl still pregnant? Tell me how she was able to pass the first and second trimester against my wishes. Mama, I didn't know the girl decided to keep the baby. Wait, you got somebody else pregnant? I told you I wanted her seen by a clinic the day she announced it. Okay, and I gave her the money to go and take care of it. I didn't know you wanted me to hold her hand through the process. I gave you the money to give to her, which means the bitch stole from me. So now we have an even bigger problem. And then you let her bring her mama in my house. Mama, this baby probably ain't even mine. But what if it is, Savon? You have no job. I do have a job. Doing what? DoorDash. Uh you cannot keep getting these girls pregnant. It was an accident. Versace was an accident. Shay was an accident twice. Carmen is an accident. <gasps> you got Carmen pregnant? Oh my God. So that means I'm going to have a little mixed niece or nephew. You don't even babysit the one you got now. Well, if y'all can't even afford daycare, what makes you think you can afford me babysitting? Get a real job, Savon. You are about to be a father of two. And I'm not helping you raise no more babies after this. I am getting too soft with y'all. But I refuse to see my son fall flat on his ass. So do us both a favor and get it together. All right. I got you. And Brian, you better not even think about getting somebody pregnant. Mama, guys can't get pregnant. Me and Trixon would have had a hundred kids by now. Uh, Tamika, we gotta talk. No, we do not. I saw the Karen bitch at the store and she looked like she'd been gaining some weight. I'm sure she has. In her... Shit. The bottom line is your son is disruptive and manipulative. What proof of that do you have? I don't need any proof, Mrs. Jackson. I'm telling Mr. you. Mr. Boyce, you ask me to believe your word over my son's. I'm going to need hardcore evidence. Well, how about you look at him and ask him? Kyrie, did you do these things he's accusing you of? Mom, I would never. This man is clearly deranged and delusional. You listen here, you little brat. Mr. Boyce, I thought you liked me. Why are you yelling at me? Why did you call me a brat? Mr. Boyce, I wonder how Principal Smith feel about you showing up to my home unannounced to degrade my son. Mrs. Jackson, what corrective actions do you have for your son's behavior? Well, first I'm going to request that he be removed from your class immediately because I do not like the aggression you have towards him. He has made my life a living hell for the last nine months. And I am just now hearing about it. Mr. Boyce, I apologize if you're upset because I said that your hair looks like a bird's nest. I didn't mean it. How's that eye? <clears throat> if they fight again, I'm going to beat your ass. Because you're the reason we are doing this again. And I don't have time for it. What did you want me to do, Tamika? Not tell you and have y'all help raise a child that's not yours? And I want you to swallow that bass in your voice and control your neck movements before I break it. <sighs> okay. Mama, can we just read the results? And you shut up too because we wouldn't be in this mess if you didn't decide to populate early. Rashad Blackwell. It was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% not a match. Woo! <sighs> hmm. But I knew that. You can go. No, I want to hear Savon's results. Rashad, get your ass out of my house. And don't let her ask you twice because then there goes your other eye. Savon Jackson.
it was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% a match. Yes! Yes! Look, I am so sorry I put y'all through that again. We are going to move forward, Versace. Because you were turning a new leaf. And I was starting to like your ass. I know, but it won't be any surprises from now on. Or from either of you, because I can't take no more. The next surprise is going six feet under. Hola, peras! Oh. What is that? What you thought I got rid of? But some better. Lo guarde. Que? You heard what I said, Tamika. You're going to be an abuela again. Now, I don't know Spanish, but I'm sure that meant grandmother. Savon, if I die of a heart attack today because of you, who is going to take care of Louis Vuitton and whatever the hell that is in her stomach? Hmm. Who is going to take care of your kids? Who is going to provide for your kids? Huh? Do you know how to not populate? Is it hard? Mama, it's not mine. Shut up! I'm getting too old for this shit. You better hope that baby's not yours. You taco eating bitch. You went and gave my son a sibling without my consent. Come here, Maria. Come here. Stop around the corner. Come here. Kyrie, this shit is getting old. We are two days into the school year and your ass is already getting expelled. Mama, I do not like Roosevelt. Send me back to Judson. Did you forget that you got expelled from there too? Start taking some accountability, Kyrie. I am not an accountant. I don't have a degree to process accountability, let alone count. You know what? That's fine. It's fine. You're not about to give me no damn heart attack. So your little ass can rot in alternative school. I know how to get kicked out of alternative school too. Oh my God, where did I go wrong with you? The better question is, where did grandma go wrong with you? I am my mother's child. Hey twin. Savon, I thought I told you I didn't want to see you unless you had my money. I didn't give this girl another $200 for child support. Where is the original $200 I gave you? I spent it on Shay. You spent my money on this walking lace front? Yes, he did. Since you're forever crying about not wanting any more grandkids. Savon, do you not know how to pull out? Damn! You have managed to get every girl you've been with pregnant and my dumb ass keeps giving you money. Mama, I thought you would be happy. I am disgusted. The person that needs to go to the clinic is your ass for a damn vasectomy. What is that? Permanent birth control for that ass. Don't let her do that. They gonna cut you. Bitch, don't be telling my son what to do. I will do that. I'm his girlfriend. I can tell him what to do. You hold no weight in this house, bitch. I am his mother. I will tell him when to piss and shit. You just lay back when he tells you to. Kyrie. Since you think you so bad, you gonna do your little time in alternative school. But when you get out that bitch, your ass is going to Sam Houston High School where them kids come to school with razors in their mouth. You bad. Let's see how long you last there. I did not see that coming. Savon, you're getting snipped first thing in the morning. 
Hey, mama. Oh, Lord Jesus, Brian, do you really want to test it too? No, ma'am. I just wanted to say happy 40th birthday. And this weekend, I'd like to take you to Olive Garden to celebrate. Thank you. It's ever since you were little, you have always been the first child to tell me happy birthday. You know, Brian, you have just become my favorite child again. Thank you. You have made my day. In the midst of all this bullshit with your brothers, you have made my day. This house is too crowded. I need Shay, Greg, and Kendrick gone. I don't know, I kinda like Shay being here. Yeah, so you can hit it whenever you like. Exactly. Mama is losing control of this house and I don't ever think she'll get it back on her own. What do you suggest? We killed three birds with one stone. How? Kendrick! What are you doing? Killing three birds with one stone. Kendrick is one of the birds. And he will be the stone who takes out himself and the other two. Trust me. Look, I know y'all probably mad because your mama told me I could stay an extra three weeks, but y'all just want to get over it. Kendrick, how would you like to stay here forever? I mean, I wouldn't mind. Good. We can make that happen. All you have to do is help us get rid of Greg and his daughter. <laughs> okay, how? I need you to find a way to take thousands of dollars out of my mama's account and then find a way for it to end up in Greg's possession. So it looks like he stole it and not me. <laughs> exactly. So what do you say? I like the way you think, Kyrie. I can tell we're related. <laughs> All right, um... I have to think of a way to make Greg think he won some money with one of my scamming businesses, but I'm sure he'll go for it. Of course he will. All right. I'll get started. And um, thank y'all. I really appreciate it. Great. I'm still missing how Kendrick gets in trouble. Greg is low-key scared of Mama. Once confronted, he'll tell her that Kendrick is the one who gave him the money. But then Greg will be out of trouble. Kendrick will lie. Mama will lose her shit and kick all of them out. Hmm. It's worth a shot. Indeed. Good thinking, Kyrie. How's everyone doing this evening? Oh, I see. Let's all ignore Kendrick, right? Kyrie, do you hear something? I thought I heard a scamming ass bitch talking. But it was just my imagination. Kyrie, watch your mouth. Cousin, are you cooking today? No, I am not. Mom, I took the chicken out of the refrigerator for the chicken Alfredo that you said you were gonna make me, Kyrie, Savan, and not Kendrick. Thank you, son. I appreciate it. So I guess I'm just supposed to starve? The last time I checked, you were a grown-ass man who was capable of taking care of himself. The food I have in this house is for my children only. The food that I helped put in your house? Kendrick, I will fuck you up. My house that you put on Airbnb and I still haven't sued your ass for it? Yes, we gonna eat all the food you helped put in this bitch and you ain't getting none of it. Watch your damn mouth, Kendrick. Mom, can I use the vacuum to clear my room? Your room? Savan, you weren't supposed to move in until I move out. Who told you that you can start making decisions regarding who lives in my house, Kendrick? Well, if he moves back in, then where do I sleep? On the couch in the loft. My daddy would be so disappointed in you. Your me. sister said that exact same bullshit. That shit don't faze me. You have two more weeks in my house. I suggest you start looking for another place to scam. I'm sorry, another place to live.
Mama, my phone off. Yeah, mine too. Interesting. Mine isn't. Can you call AT&T and ask them why it's off? How was your weekend? Um, not that interesting. You and Katrina didn't have a good time, you know, hanging out? Uh, we did. We had fun. Hmm. Interesting. You know, I called her mom because I wanted her to stop by the house before she went back to basic training. And her mom told me that she won't be back home until Thanksgiving. So I guess I'm busted too. What do you mean? We lied about our whereabouts and Kyrie must have told you. But mama, I'm grown. I can do whatever I want. Oh, then leave. To be honest, Savon, I'm getting real sick and tired of taking care of your grown ass. Get the fuck out already so I can save some damn money. Leave and go where? I have nowhere to go. Sure you do. You can go live with Shay and tell that little bitch the next time I see her, I'm taking her down. WWE style. Because I know damn well you didn't steal my credit card and spent money on that little whore. Mama. I said I wasn't going to kick you out ever again. But you know what? Effective immediately, I want you out of my damn house. All because I stole your credit card? And because your sick ass decided to lay Shay's ass down in my bedroom and didn't even have the decency to replace my damn sheets. Alright, that was a mistake. But you know what? You do this, you'll never see your grandson again. Huh? <laughs> you forgot that me and your baby mama, we're co-parents. You are just a part-time babysitter. Wow, mama. Wow, Savon, you stole my credit card and left stains on my sheet. You're dirty, and I am ashamed to be your mother right now. Mama! Brian! Your phone will be off for the rest of the year. Your outside activities are non-existent. The only time you will see the light of day is when you go to school, and I will be dropping you off and picking you up. Your social life is now canceled, along with your relationship to that damn boy. Kendrick, I am so glad to have you stay here, and I'm really sorry about Uncle Teddy. It's okay, cousin. And thanks for letting me stay here. I know he wouldn't want me anywhere else. Now, I do have a few house rules, though. One of them is to stay out of my way, or you'll find yourself strapped to the highway. Boy, I used to lock you in the closet when you were little, and you used to cry for your mama. <laughs> try locking me in one now. I want to see you try. You were saying, Cousin Tamika. All I ask is you respect my house. And Kyrie. Yes, ma'am, I got it. But I'll just be going to work and back. I don't really do nothing. Oh, you have a job? Yes, and I plan on paying my way while I'm here. Wow. If only my oldest thought like you. Where is Savon? Out of sight, out of mind. Where you will find yourself if you mess with me. Kyrie, enough. Mama, can I talk to you? I am not approachable at this moment. This is my cousin Kendra. He'll be staying here with us for a while. Damn, Brian, you didn't got big. And where would he be sleeping? Well, I figured since I just finished out cleaning Savon's room, I- Put my brother's stuff back in his room. Who the fuck are you yelling at, Brian? You, mama. I'm sorry, but you can't sleep in my brother's room. Uh, that's fine. I don't want no problems, cousin. I'll sleep on the couch. Boy, my mama don't even like people sitting on her couch. What makes you think she gonna let you sleep on her couch? No, it's fine. This is my damn house. Kendrick, that room is yours. <sighs> and by the way, Kendrick has a job, no kids, and it's gonna help me pay bills. Something that Savon didn't do. So if you want your brother's stuff, it's over there in the garage. You can have it. Put it in your room. You know what? You're the worst. The way you handled me that night. You know what, Brian? I want you to help me parent. Tell me how to parent. 
You have snuck out of my house several times to see that boy. You have lied to me several times to see that boy. Tell me, how do I discipline you? Help me. Well, for starters, maybe if you didn't deprive me of my relationship with him, then I wouldn't have to lie and sneak to see him. I am not having this conversation in front of Kendrick. It's not Kendrick. It's you having to face the fact that you're a homophobic asshole of a mother. If that's what helps you sleep at night, then I'll be that homophobic bitch of a mother. Wow. I allowed you to see Trenton. I allowed him to see you. I allowed you to be gay comfortably in my house. I allowed Trenton to be in my house. I wasn't a homophobic asshole then, was I? No, it's only when I discipline you, then I become a monster. Now, Brian, you have not seen the surface of homophobic, and that is because I am protecting you from it. Do I understand your sexuality? No, but I love you. I accept you, and I am proud of you, whether you believe it or not. There are worse parents than me. And at the end of the day, you are still a child. You are my child. You are my responsibility. And you live in my damn house. So you will follow my rules and do as I say. Or there's the door. Now, can you show Kendrick to his new room? Mama, but Savon is gone. He's gone, Brian. Do I like it? No. Do I want him gone? No. But how many times do I allow him to disrespect me in my house? My bed, Brian? Have you and Trenton been in my bed? No. No. He went a little too far. Some things I will not tolerate. Some things I will not allow. That was beyond disrespectful. He's gone. Um, Tanika, I need a room. You need a what? Mama, why is she making such an asinine request? Little girl, why do you keep posting my son on your social media like he's yours? Are you slow? That was a question. Why are you so loud? And I am not a little girl. I am a grown woman. You're a fucking child. Keep my son off your social media. I'm going to beat your ass. Savannah, are you still messing with this hoe or something? No. Then ain't no reason my son should be around you or you around my son. Tamika, why is she even here? Because I am a new addition to the family. How? I don't fuck with you. You don't fuck with me for right now, but you will. Tamika, tell them what's going on. Shay, keep my grandchild off of social media. Or next time, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to run up and lay your ass out. Lace fronts and all. Start making safe decisions, ho. Anyways, Tamika, why haven't you told the boys about me? Girl, we know who you are and we do not care. No, I'm your new stepsister. What? Mom didn't tell y'all? She's marrying my dad, Greg. You're Greg's daughter? Greg is your dad? I was messing with Greg's daughter? First of all, don't you ever in your fucking life call me mom. I am not your mother. Second of all, 
It is not your place to tell my children something that I was going to sit down and talk to them about. Oh, well, you took too long. Oh, well, it won't take me too long to knock your ass out that bar store. And I will tell my daddy. And I'll knock his ass out too, then knock you out again in front of him. Mom, you're marrying Greg? Greg did propose. I have not given him an official answer yet. Mama, why would you marry Greg? I have not given him an official answer yet. But regardless, Mama gotta have a life too. Mama, you can have a life with a different man. Not even then. Mama, you are to remain single until Kyrie moves out of this house. We will discuss this matter in private. It don't need to be discussed in private. It can be discussed right now in front of me. I'm about to be your stepdaughter, Tanika. You need to start treating me like it. You are number seven of the 15 spawns that Greg has running around. You ain't shit special. Now shut your ass up and be grateful I'm allowing your ass to sit there unharmed. Don't look at me like that. Mama, with all due respect... Don't say with all due respect and then turn around and say some disrespectful shit. You haven't been making the best decisions when it comes to this household. Letting Kendrick stay here, then Greg, now Shay... Neither Shay or Greg live here. Now shut up! I don't want to hear shit else about it. I told y'all I will talk to y'all about it when I'm ready. I have not made a decision yet. When I make a decision, y'all will be the first to know. What I do with my life is what I do. Y'all ain't in control of shit here. Y'all live here. Y'all ain't running shit. Greg don't live here and neither does this little girl. Tanika, you are forgetting how this works. I go where my daddy go. If he lives here, then so do I. Well, I dropped your daddy off at his little job at the gas station. Go find him. Ew, I am too cute to be seen at a gas station. Let alone be dropped off. So, Kendrick, you said you were in the military? Yeah. I did two years. And I retired as an E7. Kendrick, your ass ain't retired as no E7. You said you only did two years? So that means that ass ain't even made it to first class yet. Brian, please. The adults are talking. My grandma says you didn't even pass your ASVAB test. <laughs> Tammy didn't even finish high school. I'm surprised she even knows what an ASVAB test is. I want to see you say that to her face next time you see her. Okay, I will. I will. Anyway, it's beautiful. Why do you call yourself Versace? Because I love the brand Versace. But cannot afford the brand Versace. You know, I actually own a couple products from Versace. Did you fully purchase them or did you finance them in one of our aunties or uncles name? I'd like to see some. Okay. Um, let me text you my um, website and you can make a purchase from there. Kendrick, you are a fucking fraud. Hey, 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 Brian Jackson, watch your mouth. Ma, Kendrick is in here trying to scam Versace. Cousin, you know I own an online boutique. You seem to own a lot of things that are not in your name. What's going on, family? What's up, Brian? What's up, Ma? What's up, uh, what's your name? I think I got you pregnant. And never mind, it's not important. What's up, mama? Savon, is that something I can help you with? No, life's great. I'm living with Grandma Pam and I'm making so much money. I actually came here because I have to help you with something. Uh, Brian, is this the scammer you were telling me about? Yes, he's the fraud. My name is Kendrick and I'm your older cousin. It's nice to meet you, Savon. Mm. Mama, what all do you know about this failed replacement of mine? He helps pay bills. He helps out around the house. Besides all that weak ass shit, what else do you know about him? Savon, I don't know why you are here, but you know where you're at and who you're talking to. So start watching your damn mouth. How about you start watching who you bring into your house, Tamika? I've been doing that, which is exactly why your ass is no longer here. Now get your ass out of my house. Oh, well, speaking of your house, I thought that you should know that there's a house on Airbnb that looks mighty similar to this one. What the hell are you talking about, Savon? The host, his name is Kendrick. And this Kendrick. And the reviews that he has states that he cancels reservations before the check-in date.
Kendrick, what the hell is this? Uh, it's a way for me and you to make some money, cousin. Kendrick, I don't want to hear that shit. Why the hell is my damn house on Airbnb? Uh, cousin, it's a good business venture. And I was going to give you 20% of whatever I made. 20? Oh, you done lost your damn... Get your ass out of my house. You know, you were always my favorite cousin. The law states that you have to give a tenant 30 days before you evict them. Oh, mama just gave me the word and I would drag his ass out of here. Yes, mama, please. Can we put our hands on him? I got this. Kendrick, I should have saw your scamming ass coming from a mile away. But because your daddy died, I felt sorry for you, which is why I took you in. But you know what? He would be so disappointed in you right now. So this is me still being lenient to your ass. You have until the end of the week to get your stuff and find somewhere to go. I have 30 days to get out of your house. And if I get touched by one of your sons during those 30 days, my lawyer is going to have a field day. Now I'm going to go upstairs to my room and I will take your house off of Airbnb. And Versace, if you want that website, just let me know. Fuck. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Savannah, go beat him up. I'm too cute to go to jail. Mama, I promise you, ain't nobody going to find the body. Let me handle it. Stop. I got this. Let mama handle it. I know exactly what I'm going to do. What's up, mama? Leave me alone, Kyrie. I'm not in the mood. Oh, good. Then I can tell you about your other son's whereabouts. I know where all my children are. Do you? Do you really know? If you know something and you're withholding information, I'm going to beat your ass, too. Savon told you that he was at the movies with Jasmine and that they're spending time with each other today. But he's actually not even with Jasmine. He's with Shay. And they're out somewhere shopping using your credit card. And Brian told you that he's hanging out with his friend Katrina today because she's back from basic training. But Katrina doesn't come back from basic training for another four weeks around Thanksgiving time. Now, I do know that Trenton's parents are out of town right now and he has the house to himself. <sighs> and I know he's tearing his ass up. Also, that stain that's on your sheet that you can't get off literally comes from Shay. Savon said that his bed was too small and he needed a king size mattress. So he used yours, mama. Why are you here, Kyrie? Brian's recent behavior has made me curious as to what he has seen here at Dad's house. What did he say he saw? I never said he saw anything, Savon. Is there something that you think he saw? Kyrie, shut up. Your mind tricks don't work on me. Nothing happened here. Ah, so he did lie to Mama. Lied to her about what? He said that he saw Dad cheating on Karen. But from his facial expression and your facial expression, I can tell that he was lying. 
Okay, quick. Your dad said he got stuck in a meeting and the boys decided to stay the night at a friend's house. Uh, Kyrie, now is not a good time. Oh, it seems like now is a good time for the both of you. I don't know what you're insinuating, but I don't like it. You two enjoy the rest of your day. No, wait, where are you going? Home. I'm going home to our beautiful mother. No, hell no, Kyrie, stay. We need to talk. Uh, Vani. Vani. Let him go. Yo, Karen, do me a favor. Shut up. Go comb your hair. Why? It's just going to get messed up again. Jesus. Savon, big brother. I pray that mama has mercy on your soul because she is going to wipe her out. What do you want? My boy, there are some things that I cannot remain silent on. There is no amount of money in the world that'll keep me quiet. $5,000 for you to keep your mouth shut. Cash at me right now. <sighs> Just like a black person. Okay, so you'll leave and say nothing, right? Oh, hell no. I'm about to go tell my mama. I'm gonna tell her that you've been sleeping with my brother and that you gave me $5,000 to join. Savant, you are too old to be having dad's weekends. So what are you doing here? It's Savant, and I was hoping I could speak to my father. Anything you have to say to my husband, you can say in front of me. You ain't my dad, Karen. Where is he at? Well, he's at work. Something you clearly have no experience in. Savant, what's going on? I haven't seen you in almost a year. I thought you said he was at work. Honey, your son's here. Dad, can I please speak to you in private? No, you cannot. You are in my establishment and you will speak in front of me. Relax. So anything you got to say to me, you can say in front of my wife. My mom kicked me out. Well, that's too bad. But don't worry, my best friend, Caitlin, owns a homeless shelter. And if you leave right now, you might be able to catch them before they fill their last bed. I'll go ahead and give her a call and let her know you're on the way. Karen, you are not putting my son in a homeless shelter. Michael, oh my God. We can't just leave him out on the streets. You're right, which is exactly why he'll be staying here with us. No! I mean, we have three children and only 10 bedrooms. Where would he sleep? We have no room, honey. <sighs> I'll clean out my office. You can sleep in there. Uh, Michael, you aren't asking the right questions here. Why were you kicked out in the first place, Savant? Well, I didn't have a job at the time, and my mom said that she got tired of taking care of me, so she kicked me out so she can save some money. Well, you know, this is my house, my rules. You will be getting a job so you can provide for your son. No exceptions. Ugh, fine. You can stay in your father's office. But, Savant, be mindful of what you wear when you're coming in and out of the house. This is an all-white neighborhood. They're not used to seeing... Niagara's. What? Blacks. There are black people in this neighborhood. Yeah, that cut the grass. But none of them own a home here. My mom actually lives up the street. Her entire house actually looks like this. I don't want to see any whores in my house. 
I don't want to see any of your boys from the hood in my house. You will not become a bad influence on my sons. I don't want them seeing that. Noted. Also, note this. When my parents are in town, I need you to dress up like a waiter. Karen, what the hell? Now, honey, you know that you're the only color that my parents accept. My father has a bad heart. And if he sees another colored with a do-rag, he'll have a heart attack. Son, everything's going to be okay, all right? And tomorrow I'll go and talk to your mother. No, no. I don't want her to know where I'm at. Well, that's too bad. I'm going to have a conversation with her. I want to rub in her face that her son was homeless and I took him off the street. I don't think she would want to see you. So please, just leave it alone. It's fine. Um, Can my son visit from time to time? Oh, yes, that's good. Your son is black. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Oh my God, yes. Because... We can adopt him. We can adopt him. And I can tell all my friends I adopted a black baby. From Africa. Our kids are black. Michael. This is my last time telling you that my children are biracial. They're not black. You want to not address them as such. If you cannot say they're biracial, simply tell people that they are white. Never black. What are you working on? Homework. Oh, that sounds terrible. So I went to dad's house the other day. But he wasn't there. It was just Karen Savon. How'd that go? I'm pretty sure they're sleeping together. I just have to figure out a way to tell mama and throw you under the bus too. Kyrie, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever you tell mama is on you. I know how to deny it. Hmm. You can deny it, but then I'll tell dad that you tell mama that he was cheating on Karen. And you can't deny that because mama heard it too. What do you want? It's not about what I want. It's about what I need. And I need to see violence. So I'm gonna tell mama. I will literally give you anything. I'm sure you would, but I must warn you, Karen already paid me $5,000 to keep my mouth shut and I'm still telling mama. So if I scammed her, what makes you think I want to scam you? So let me get this straight. You let Karen pay you $5,000 just so you can keep your mouth shut? I did. I know keeping secrets from me is dangerous, so go ahead and spit it out. Mama Karen is sleeping with Savon. She also paid Kyrie $5,000 to keep his mouth shut. And I know this because Kyrie just told me. Well played. Well played. You said that Karen is sleeping with Savon? That's what Kyrie said. Does your father know? Leave it alone. Mama! Savon can't come back here. He has not apologized yet. And if I tell his father, he will be kicked out and left on the street. Mom, this is an opportunity to let Savon come back here. Hell no! Especially since he done slept with that snow demon. He can stay his ass right there. As for Karen, she will be handled. Oh, Mama, how will she be handled? And may I watch? You may hand me your entire freedom along with that $5,000 and get the fuck out of my face. Well played.
because that is definitely some shit I would have did to you. Bye, Kyrie! I'm gone. Mama, how are you not mad at Karen? Brian, look, I know you miss your brother, but Savannah is grown and has put me through enough, okay? He clearly is trying to get back at me and I'm not going to let him. Instead of me reacting, I am choosing not to respond. Something I have never done before. Now, had it been y'all, oh, then me and that bitch got a problem. She paid Kyrie $5,000. So now me and that bitch got a problem. And she will have to see me. But as for Savon, I am not addressing him because that's what he wants. That bitch got my ex-husband and now she got my son. And I am choosing not to react. Pat a bitch on the back. Uh, Ma, I hate to interrupt whatever this is, but what is this? Yeah, what is this? Shay, do you live here? No, but my boyfriend... Okay, then. So shut your ass up and be seen and not heard. I don't understand why you would want to be somewhere where you are not welcomed nor wanted. Tamika, I just came to apologize to you and Savan about everything. Oh, you mean about what your brother did? I hope that you both can forgive me. Well, they don't. And Savan, why do you keep looking at her like that? Like what? Like he wants to be over here and not over there? But he is not over there. You are absolutely correct. A mutual decision that me and him both made. And in result, he went and found the easiest hoe to fuck on. Girl, I'm never easy. Me and him are actually in an exclusive relationship. An exclusive relationship that has resulted in several unwanted pregnancies and chlamydia that you have contracted and served. How do you know about that? Listen, I am not here for this. Well, I am. I've been waiting for an encounter with you. An encounter with me is something that you cannot afford. Do not write a check that you cannot cash. Bitch, I'm rich. Let's go. You really came here because you want my man back. And to be quite honest, I can have him back by the snap of a finger. So snap it! Now that I am back in the picture, I understand that you are not wanted nor welcomed here. Is that true or false? Savon! Oh, you clueless hoe. Looking to him for direction is not going to save you. What was your name again? Shy! Uh, uh, I mean Shay! Oh, poor thing. Your head must be spinning. You can't even gather your thoughts. Bitch, I will fight you! Do you know how many hoes that he has been with that have wanted to fight me, but we're all unsuccessful? I ain't these other hoes. I will really fight you. Hmm. That may be true, but what would I gain from fighting a bitch who meant absolutely nothing to him? I did mean something. Probably for a good two to three minutes on your back. But even then, I know you've heard him whisper the name Jasmine a few times. You probably even heard him whisper my name while he's dreaming. Tap out whenever you're ready. Bitch, you know what? No, I don't know. I do have a question, though. What would you like your method of transportation to be? An Uber or a bus? I'm a rich bitch. I don't ride either of those. How will you be getting home, then? Savon is going to take me. I do apologize, but he is currently unavailable at this time. Please select another option. Tanika, please make her stop. Oh, dear Shay. Now that is between you two women. I will not get involved. When you leave, then I will stop. Until then, can we discuss why your hair has no part in the middle? Did you put the wig on backwards? <gasps> Did you decide on what your method of transportation will be? Tara, I need you to take it down a couple of notches. My daughter called you gay. Okay, so what? That is no reason for you as a male to put your hands on her. I'm Tara, that is not what happened. Brian, what other reason do you have for putting your hands on my daughter? Tara, I don't know who the fuck you think you might be yelling at, but it ain't my child. So I'm going to ask you again. Take it down a couple of notches or it will get real aggressive around here.
Now address me and not my son. I will respect you because you are my older sister. But I'd like to know, what corrective actions do you have planned for Brian's behavior? Mm -hmm. I love the change in tone because you know fucking better. Now, according to my son and my other son and his girlfriend, Tarika threw a drink on Brian. Auntie, the drink didn't even get a chance to land on him. He attacked me. What was I supposed to do? Sit here and let her throw a drink on me? Yes. Yes. Tamika, because he is a male, he should have stepped there and let his female cousin attack him. Okay, for one, none of my sons are going to ever allow anyone to attack them, male or female. But you know what? I feel like I'm asking the wrong questions here. What started all of this, Tarika? Brian was spreading rumors. About what? You know what? It's okay. I, I forgive you, Brian. Can we go, mama? No! You cannot go! You didn't set up here and created all this mess. So you're gonna tell your mama and me what this rumor is. Spit it out, Tarika. Why am I now being yelled at? He's the one who attacked me. I accused her of sleeping with family members. Mama, he lying! He lying, mama! I didn't sleep with nobody, mama! What you doing that nasty? He lying! He lying, mama! He lying! Now, Brian, that is a big accusation, son. So what proof of that do you have? Majority of our cousins, Jaquez, Tariq, Eric, Corey, Charles, Marcus, Brandon, Uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy? My brother Tommy? Your Uncle Tommy? Tarika! Oh, I'm not done. Damien, Jerron, Britton. Oh, and Kyrie. Who? Come again? I know you ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I know he ain't talking about my... I, oh, 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 I know he ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I don't remember Kyrie. Kyrie! <sighs> Mika, help me find a man. I need a man. Mama, let me help you find somewhere to live. You need a house. See, not once did I talk to you, your sisters, or your brothers like that when y'all was growing up. I took care of y'all. The least y'all could do is let me stay with y'all when I need a place to stay. You kicked all of us out once we hit the age of 18, mama. You're only 55 years old and more than capable of living on your own. Plus, I have Brian, Kyrie, and Kendrick here. I don't have the space for you. Where's Savannah at? She kicked him out. You kicked my grandbaby out? And how old is Savon? 19? But I'm the monster for kicking y'all out at 18. You ain't no different. Like mother, like daughter. Savon disrespected my house in many ways that cannot be forgiven. So did you and Tanya with my ex-husband, Earl. And did I hear you say Kendrick was living here? Yes, and he is amazing. He helps around the house. He helps with bills. Oh, he ain't asked you to borrow money yet? No, he has his own job. He ain't opened up a credit card in your name? Why would he do that? He ain't listed your house on an Airbnb yet. What? <sighs> Mika, tell that boy it's time for him to go. Mama, what do you know? <sighs> Enough to warn my daughter about him. Uh... I gotta go. Mika, let me use your car. No. You know what? I'll just walk. Matter of fact, I'll call an Uber. <laughs> Sounds good to me. See, y'all don't care about me. But when I'm somewhere, I did not ask that Uber driver to take me, fighting for my virginity in the backseat of his car. Y'all don't care. <laughs> your virginity expired long before I came into this world. And you had me at 15. Can you call me an Uber driver, please? Brian, get your grandmother an Uber. Thank you, Kyrie. Oh, I mean, Brian, my bad.
Hey, cousin. Hey, Brian. Hey. What was uh, Aunt Tammy doing here? Absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I actually wanted to talk to you about a business opportunity. Okay. So, I want to open up my own business, of course, but I want to bring you on as a business partner. Not interested. Oh, um, well, okay. Well, maybe, um, well, cousin, maybe you can help me up with some of the startup money? Kendrick, all that money you got from your dad's life insurance, what happened to it? Oh, um, I, um... <laughs> Um, it, um, hold on, my phone's upstairs and I can hear it ringing. <laughs> I'll be back. Mama, his phone was in his hand. Mm -hmm. It was. Savon. On 10 20, 2022, you were home when I was falsely accused by Brian of stealing Mama's car. Mama, Your Honor, can you please instruct the defendant to ask an actual question? I am asking a question, Your Honor. Savon, you were home with Jasmine watching TV. Objection. Cause for speculation. Sustained. Please ask an actual question, Curry. Savon, were you home that night and did you see me leave my room? I don't remember. Well, let me help you remember. You were home that night. With your door open, my room is across from yours. You would have seen me leave my room. Objection. Leading. Sustained. Did you see me leave my room? What do you mean? Your Honor, could you please instruct the witness to stop being a dumbass and answer my question? Answer the question, Savon. I didn't see you in your room. Yes, you did. Stop lying. You saw me in my room. Objection. Badgering. Badger these nuts, Brian. Sustained. Watch your mouth, Kyrie. Did you see me take Mama's car keys? I don't remember seeing you in your room and Mama's car keys were gone. Is that because you went looking for them with the intentions of stealing the car for yourself? Objection. Withdrawn. I have no further questions for this witness, Your Honor. Next witness. Jasmine. Yes, sir. Did you at any time see Savon take my mama's car keys? Objection. Relevance. Did you see me leave my room? I honestly was not paying attention to your room. Is that because you were too busy being bent over? Objection. Cause for speculation. Speculate these nuts, Brian. Objection. Badgering. I do know that me and Savon were in the house all night and we heard a car start up. But Kyrie was nowhere to be found. Lies! Your Honor, this witness has been coached into saying that. I want a mistrial. You're grounded. Curry, you're grounded. All right. Oh, okay. Tamika, it is finally nice to meet you. I wanted to sit and talk to you about the boys. Their behavior this past Saturday was completely unacceptable. Do you mind if I have a conversation with my ex-husband? Oh! Tamika, what oh! the hell? Michael, oh! please explain to me why oh! my children why my children arrived at your home to an unidentified white woman insulting them. I was at work and she is my wife and I told her to take oh care of them God. until I got home. Oh. Okay, honey, I got you. Tibi, I can't believe you put your hands on my wife. I don't give a fuck, Michael. That's for her telling one of my kids they gotta sleep on the floor. Look, I'm gonna give you time to get your Becky's mouth under control and your house in order before my children's next visit. Have a good day. Girl, just seeing him yell at them did something to me. Mom! He... Mom! Oh, girl, let me call you back. So, you're really gonna let that man just come in here and talk to us like that? You just let him come in here after being gone for eight years and disrespect us like that? And you didn't even say anything? Well, he is daddy. <laughs> I mean, he's y'all's daddy. And I can't control how he's talking to y'all. 
I'm just glad he said he was okay with meeting Trenton. Don't nobody care about no damn Trenton. You better be glad I didn't tell that man y'all be playing in each other's booty. Mama, are you really about to send us to his house every weekend? Are y'all yelling at me? Wait a minute, because I've been waiting years to say this. Do I need to call y'all's daddy? <laughs> Do I need to call y'all's daddy? Do I need to call your father? <laughs> Do I need to get your daddy on the line? Okay, mama. Was that a threat, Kyrie? Do you want me to tell him you threatening me? 